Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and this is Transport Fever, the Square England Let's Play series. And we're starting here at, what do we call this place? The Plymouth Food Hub. Because, yep, that's a food factory and we've got trays like this one here delivering grain and stuff to it to make food. I, I noticed on the routes that come from here, and there are three of them, uh, Plymouth, Thatcham and Whitchurch, as you can see, Thatcham is getting the bulk, as it were, of food, uh, ready for shipping off over the river and far away to Thatcham. Uh, Kimber is getting a modest amount of food, and Plymouth is getting effectively nothing at all. And I, I thought, what the heck is going on here? I don't understand. Why, why is that not? That's a nice shortish route. So I looked at these trains. That's a Plymouth one. Oh, there's a Thatcham one. That's fine. And I looked at these. Well, that's a very noisy engine, isn't it? Was that the 37? Yeah, I think that is a particularly sort of um, grunty <laughs> engine. Is that an appropriate term? I've no idea. Um, so I looked at it. Thatcham train. Yeah, 75 miles an hour. Oh, that's the problem, perhaps. That the Plymouth one is that much faster and therefore that much more expensive at delivering goods. And we all know that freight loves cheap. It will always, uh, where possible, uh, prefer the cheap route to the expensive route. Um, so I then looked at this, OK, so um, how much of the demand in Plymouth are we fulfilling? And it's here that I noticed that I don't have any truck delivering the food that's coming into Plymouth. <laughs> so the station itself covers about three, four commercial buildings, and that's it. That, I suspect, is why... The Plymouth train is getting sod all food to carry up here. And that's quite an expensive train. I mean, how much is that costing me? Three and a half million a year. That's an awful... 16 wagons. That's an awful lot of wagons. So what we're going to do first, I think, is attempt to rectify that problem. Ridiculous oversight on my part. I'm not sure why I allowed that to happen. I think initially Plymouth was simply um, getting uh, industrial materials. Uh, oil and construction materials uh, so and that the station here does cover I just put that on again does cover pretty much all the industrial area but I think it's yeah, apart from that one building out there or the or the, and those few there so the industrial area has kind of grown um, around the station so it can receive goods which is good which is how it should work I suppose um, now the trouble we have here is that this is a, an old-fashioned, this is a base game station. Um, so I, in, in coming to upgrade this, the second street connection, I've only got the one going out the other side, whereas on the flexible station, of course, we could have uh, connections at the either end, which would be very handy for me. Um, I could replace the station here, but I'm tempted not to. I, I, I don't know. You'll have seen this before in the previous videos. I've got this thing about not demolishing great swathes of buildings um, just to, to, to make my network work. Uh, so I'm going to try and do that. So what we need to do is find location for a cargo truck stop where it can pick up um, goods from the station. Now doing it over here, this side of the station, I don't think we'll that work at all? Oh, it might a little bit. So it is quite away from the station. Uh, I think we'll be better off over this side doing that. Um, can you see the highlight in there? Mm, it's, it's not very, it's not great. Perhaps we need to stick it in here. After all, uh, where's me and the MKs? There you go. Yeah, that covers a much greater area of the platform. Now, to be honest, I'm not entirely certain um, if that coverage area, the sort of the very faint white band that you might be able to make out on the station. Certainly, if you're a player of the game, you, you're, you're familiar with this, uh, with that coverage highlight. Um, I'm not sure if if that describes how much cargo can be picked up from the station or not. So, if I put the link here where I get coverage up to about, take that off, up to about here on the platform. Does that mean if I fill the platform with goods, um, the truck won't take any of those if they're in the extremities of the station? 
Good question. I really don't know the answer. If you know the answer to that, <laughs> if you've looked at the logistics and, and the mechanics of the game, it would be great to hear from you uh, and, uh, and enlighten me on that. So, where are we going to, what sort of truck station we want in here? We, these days we've got fairly big lorries, um, semis, articulated lorries and trucks and stuff. Four buildings. Oh, this, of course it's a new one there. Um, yeah, that's the smallest we're going to... What's that? Oh, heck, no, we're not putting that in there. I'm not sure these are actually good. I don't think these actually take <clears throat> um, cargo at all. We have got our monomile favourites there, but no, I think that's too big. It's going to have to be a small one of these, I think. Uh, yeah. Can we slip you in there? Indeed, we are going to demolish all those four buildings. Can we make it any less than that? What if I spin, if I spin you around, that won't help at all, to be honest with it. Um, coverage is pretty much the same. Uh, no, we'll, we'll keep it here, I think. there okay all right um plymouth siding just as good a name as any right so um i'm not going to worry about delivering industrial goods because as we saw earlier that is pretty much covered by the station itself so we want to deliver uh this very distributed commercial area and obviously we want to hit these areas here hard because that's where all the expensive offices and properties are so we need to get commercial up there could not if we stick one well, the coverage on that is pathetic isn't it no absolutely that's not gonna work if I stick you down there nope that's not gonna work either am I going to have to start demolishing buildings. I suspect I am. I'm not going to fit you in there. Now of course the thing is if we're delivering commercially we could just use the uh, the cargo bus stops. And I think we could because that kind of makes sense. It does honestly. Uh, so yeah these are all proper bus stops so we don't want to use any of those. Let's go back to the beginning of the list. Uh, I don't want 24 metre, the 12 metre will do fine, I think. So what bus lines do I have in here already? Oh, they go everywhere. Oh, we've got three bus routes in here, so this is going to be... Ah, oh, that's interesting, that's... That covers a nice commercial. That's a one-stop, isn't it? I think... Yeah, we will replace. So you can't. It's not like a station you can replace it, is it? Um, what did I, oh, I just clicked on that building. Um, it's not used by any of our passenger routes, so I think we're quite happy to delete that. Thank you. And put in there. Cargo stop. We will just. To, Keep the uh, the the uh, my my rule my protocol. Uh, so we'll call this uh, High Field Road Retail, just in case I spot it and try and use it as a passenger stop. Okay, how the heck are we going to get across there? Uh, the only safe route I think we've got. Oh no, there is that yeah you know, that tunnel there, or a bridge here. It's going to be interfering with the bus route, isn't it? I think whatever I do. Um, actually, which way does the bus route go? Oh, it's a bi-directional one, so it actually does travel in both directions. That's well, slightly annoying. <laughs> um, okay. 
that we'll, we'll stick it down here and we'll just see what the consequences are and uh, try and alleviate any problems should they arise. So we'll put the commercial stop in there. So just give that a suitably commercial name. Okay. Magic. Let's create us our new route. And we'll give it a light blue colour, I think, for commercial. Uh, local commercial deliveries is what I'm hinting out there. Uh, so it should start from there. And if it goes there, I should put the other lines back in. So just see how much it interferes with. Why does it always go the wrong way around? Ah, bizarre. Okay. So it's going round that way. Actually, I wonder if we route it so it goes out that way. I think. Yeah, let's uh, let's try that. Uh, what uh, waypoints do I have? Uh, telephone boxes. Um, th that will do. Yes. <laughs> uh, so if we put a telephone box uh, along here. Okay. So after Plymouth sidings, if you go to the telephone box. Okay, and you go round and up there. Okay, these are slow roads, but it, uh, that's fine. I think it's generally keeping out of the way of the passenger traffic uh, until it gets to the other side of town. In which case, I would like it, I think. Do I want it to go that way or the other way? I think, yeah, we'll come in on the other, the other route. I think so. If we uh, put that there, so from Highfield it goes there. Okay, yep, yeah. and it goes back. And it goes back that long way. I wonder if it would make sense going the other way round. Where's it going? It's going to end up down there. Okay, let's put uh, another one of those waypoints. I, I have got some on the on my um, American series, the One Hub. Speed build series, it's a slightly different let's play style as you, you may have seen it. Um, there's an American Signals Waypoints set which has a nice selection of um, other road signs, say bus route this way, truck route that way, um, which is quite nice to have. So from there to there. Okay, how's that working? That works quite nicely, I think. Yeah, there's not too much interference, not too much cross traffic going on. I think that's cool. Just wondering if the uh, the route up there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, I need a waypoint. A waypoint. I should work telephone box. Up. Up there, that'll do. And so after the waypoint two, we'll go to waypoint whatever that is. Okay, so that way it's, it's using more of the faster roads. That's fine. Yep, that's what we will do. Okay, now do we have a depot? We do. So what funky freight vehicles do we have? 
Oh, we've got a Tesco one. Okay, uh, that's 16, which happening at 50. That's probably fine for uh, in town, isn't it? What are these? Actually, how much does that one? Oh, where was it? There it goes. Uh, that cost me 43 a year. That one's 68. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Are they from two different... I th They could be from two different uh, modders. Yes, I think they are. Um, they will. I'll, I'll put them both in the description below. Um, so yeah, this this is a, a generic set. Uh, what uh, what is that? The man? Oh yeah, that's the man F two thousand. So yeah, there's a generic set. Uh, I think which comes with all those. Which whatever it is, it'll be in the description, so you, you can sort of work. Oh, the Renault Magnum, seventy five miles an hour. We don't need to go that fast. Not not in town. Um, I, I'm tempted. Oh. oh, to heck with it. Let's let's spend money. We've got money to, to burn. Uh, I've got two and a half billion in the bank. Should we put four there on the hope that that will prompt the train to start delivering food up here? So we'll put you all on the local commercial line. Excellent. And shall we watch you emerging from the depot? Follow you a bit, shall we? Follow him a bit. Oh, it's. There you go. Mm, that's quite nice. Yep. Not a bad little model at all. Cool. Right. So they will carry on and do whatever they're doing. Now, the other thing I noticed um, at the the food factory depot <laughs> was we had umpteen different trains at different speeds on this route. So I think Thatch and ones were the slowest for some reason. Uh, going at 75. The Kintbury ones, which are going all the way around the mountain there, were faster at 95. Uh, he's making money. That's so he I'm happy with him. 76, yeah that's okay. Uh, the Thatch and ones they're making a fair amount of money too, so I don't think we need to, in fact, as the route as a whole. Yeah, we're, we're fighting. I mean, actually, oh, stay there. I was doing the one train on there. Um, I think we could beef him up, couldn't we? Um, yeah. What is that? Is that a 37? Yeah. I think we've got bigger and better trains that we can put on there. Carry more freight out that way. Uh, diesel locos. All right, yes, yeah, so, so that is a 37 of some description. That's 1305, 87 miles an hour. Well, that's a lot better. Yes. And I think there's a new model added just recently. Is that in here? Oh, don't say it's gone off. That was still 1999. That's the 37. Ah, there it is, the 58. Uh, 80 miles an hour. That's 104 million a year. Uh, 275. That's uh, the power of that one. I, I think we could stick that on there. Let's let's. Well, that's, that's one heck of a description, isn't it? That is impressive. Again, <laughs> the link to the to the mod, the Steam on Steam will be in the description, uh, so you can chase this this vehicle up uh, yourselves if it, if it's new to you. So I'll put you in there. Uh, you'll go. And uh, what wagon have you got on there? Oh, that's a very that's quite an old wagon, isn't it? I've seen all of these, I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, you take everything. You only go 62, though. You go 75. You go 75. 
we've got a, a slightly actually the, the the loco is only 80 isn't it so that that could work that that carries 20 which is a nice big number as opposed to 12 or 13 Oh, you carry 13. Oh, I've not used one of these containers. Have I used a container one before? I'm not sure I have. But it's only 13. <laughs> that just doesn't seem like a lot, does it? Uh, you don't carry food. Uh, you do. Uh, you're 14. We'll leave the containers for a moment. I think we should be getting more container wagons um, coming on stream fairly soon um, so we'll add those to our freight trains in a in a year or two's time when when they come come out through the uh, through the manufacturing process or whatever it is that these things go through so let's stick uh, I don't know how many I've got on there now <laughs> right. 10 that's 200 yeah that'll do nicely I think so we'll replace that train there okay uh, the, yeah, I'm not quite sure why on earth I put 16 wagons on this one. Oh, that's oh, it's a different wagon on the Plymouth one. Uh, that one. Yeah, that travels faster. Oh, there's only 13. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure we... No, I'll leave it on there. We'll see if it starts making money. Uh, as you see at the moment, uh, making money is not what it's good at. <laughs> say the least. Oh, it nearly made... Well, it, yeah, it didn't. <laughs> right, so we'll leave that to bed in. Um, now, the other thing I want to look at today is uh, another... Is some of me... Oh, no, not that. I want this. Some of me old roots... Churchill to Exeter. We haven't looked at that one for a very long time. This has always been a nice little profit centre for us. So let's go and have a look at uh, what's going on over there. As you can see, it is quite an old passenger service. And how many passengers do we have waiting at Exeter? 96 still. And in Churchill, which is kind of a hub station. There's lots of things coming out of uh, Churchill. Uh, 63, so it's not vast numbers. So 105 thereabouts looks like a fairly good consist, I think, for for that line. But, uh, do, let's, I mean, we could do with upgrading the, the train now, I think, can't we? Does that go 78 as a maximum? Let's... What are those wagons? Einheitswagen. Ah! And whatever that means. Uh, let's actually get rid of all of you. Uh, so it's an electric line. So do we have any funky new electric? Oh heck. You only go 81. Oh, yeah, it is faster still than we're going at the moment. Ooh. Oh, that's the new Taiwanese one I've just loaded. Okay, we, we're not actually in Taiwan or anywhere in fact near China, um, the Democratic Republic or otherwise. Um, Oh, Virgin. Mm, okay. Uh, what about multiple units? What do we have here? 139. That's probably a bit too many. Ah, oh, that's. Okay. So that's the Taiwanese one as a, as a multiple unit. Uh, so many of these are just so huge in passenger capacity. They, they, they're just ludicrous. Right. <laughs> 114, that's... I think I've just... Ah, yeah, that could be good. Euromed. Mm, it kind of is nearly. I don't think I've got any Renfrey. That's French. Yeah, that's the French National Rail Company, apparently. Uh, that's, oh, that is going very fast. Well, we're going to stick with the sort of Austrian, German models that we have done generally. Um, through the years. 
Oh, the, the Japanese, the Shinkansen. Have you pronounced that? I've, I'm <laughs> really not confident about my pronunciation of that at all. Oh, now these are proper UK. There, there's the autosave. These are proper UK models. That's just 84 there. It's going a bit faster. Dutch. That's, uh, oh, that's 84 passengers. It's 84, so it's, it's 20 less. I don't, I, no, I don't want to go down below 100, I don't think. Okay, so what have we got here? 108. Uh, oh, that, that's, that's ridiculously expensive. And it does go very fast. 4 million a year. I'm not sure I want to spend that much money on it. Uh, two. That's a ninety. Uh, no, I'm not, mm, was that a double decker? I've not used a double decker. Oh no, that does look eighty one. It's a little bit faster. It's, it's mm, again. <laughs> it's a slightly lower number of passengers. Oh, what the heck? Let's do it. Okay, just to see how it works. Right, so we'll replace both of those now. They will take some time to come into station, since they've just left there. They've just left on a new journey. Oh, that's all the main... Oh, yeah, you can see that. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much going on here that I'm still struggling to get the balance right uh, for all those industries. I'm not going to worry about that. That will balance itself out again and start working again in reasonably good time I think it shouldn't take too long but uh, we're making enough money as it is anyway so uh, that's fine so we'll, we'll keep an eye on train nine shall we you are just are you just pulling out or pulling in oh have you just pulled in no uh, no no I just missed that one. Oh well we will see him uh, when he gets upgraded. Um, what else? Ah, now. Something I've been meaning to do for a while. And I believe I mentioned this in the previous episode. Is we have got uh, one of our oldest rooms. Well, it started off smaller than this, but it, it grew as, as I expanded the, the rail network. Which stops in four places. Newbury, Coventry, Churchill and Plymouth. And then comes back again. And what I'm thinking is, would it be better to have... Oh, no, I discussed this before, didn't I? In the last episode, I remember that now. The problem we have is that I don't want to expand this station. <laughs> it means deleting a lot of... Uh, so, I think what we will do... If we split that up, as you can see, I'm still torturing myself over this line. What we might... Uh, Coventry, could we... Yeah, they're all embedded within the towns, so it's difficult to... What would happen if we tried to expand the Coventry station? Uh, put in say three. That's not actually deleting, it's not actually demolishing a lot of high value property, is it? Though I might want to, <laughs> rather than sending on this circuitous route out of Coventry, I might want, because that is very slow. We might want to take it out, but then again, no, no, we won't. What we will do is I would ideally, I think, mm, that's not the sure choice, that's on the wrong orientation. I want the single track to be on the other side, ideally. Um, okay. What can we do here? We'll make that four. That demolishes a few more buildings. Right, let's um, 
Let's delete some of this. Let's delete that bit of road. Okay, right, so we have no collisions anymore on three, or indeed on four. It's just a matter of how much we're willing to demolish. Why is that building going to be demolished as well? That sounds a bit that's a bit cruel, isn't it? What, why that one? Oh, is it making the, the station building bigger? Is that what's going on? Yes, it is. That's why. Uh, could we change this to a flexible station? With... Um, we'll put in concrete tracks here I think. Um, do we want... is this electric? It is. Uh, so yeah. Ah, well, that's better. Yeah, the modern um, terminal, the, the modern station building is not as big. Yes, so that will work there. So this is the flexible station mod which we're using a lot in all sorts of gameplay. Um, can I, yes, if we send that road out there, that's handy, I think, that might connect up there, that's good, um, when having no through paths at all, yeah, uh, that's fine. I'm not going to put any uh, urban new roads. That's okay. Use the standard small or the medium one. Yeah, I think the medium one's better. Station building, yeah. Underground pedestrians. I don't think I've used that before. If I, I think you can just about make out. <laughs> Ah, right. It's putting a road underneath. I don't think we need that, no. No, we don't need that. Um, I'm not sure, yeah. That could well be useful in, in all sorts of situations, but I don't think it'll help us much here. Uh, underground track depth, no. We're not doing any underground tracks. That is good. Right, we're doing this. We're doing this done. Right, so can we connect that bit of road up? Uh, country, uh, town road, isn't it? We'll do a two track. Uh, where's the medium? Medium street. Uh, was it small? No, I thought it was doing construction possible. It works like that. Ah, no, right, okay. Uh, slim medium. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, you see. Because that's a modded bit, so maybe they have different connection points or some such that's causing me a problem here. Oh, well, it's going to have to be, I think. Yeah, uh, the medium street. Medium historic. That medium, medium. That's fine. We'll do you. Okay. And right. So what we're going to do with the track then? What I'm going to do is we're going to have a sort of express service, which doesn't go to Churchill. It goes Newbury, Coventry to Plymouth, and we'll have a separate little commuter route, which does um, Coventry and and Churchill. So what we want to do then? And unfortunately, as I said, I think that I'm still sorely tempted to turn this station around. Oh, if I can, I, if I grow that to four platforms, yeah, do, do yeah, do that, do that, yeah. I think that that works. 
Uh, we're going to need to reor reorient this uh, point as well. Okay. So we're going to use high speed with catenary. And we're not going to make any. I'm not going to be able to get out of there without demolishing. And I think we're going to be spending a lot of time. Ugh. That's a nasty bit of hill there, isn't it? Let's get rid of these offices or whatever they are. Those are all quite expensive buildings. And can we smooth this out at all? Hmm. This isn't looking too friendly, is it? Going over there. So construction is possible to that point. That, what does that look like? Pretty awful, but then we don't tend to worry too much about how awful the roads look. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna be a pleasant experience for a driver. Or indeed a passenger on a bus, no. Well, I'm not going to worry too much about it, I'm afraid. Okay. We're going to remove all these buildings. I'm afraid we are. I'll take the roads out as well. You. And you. We'll smooth it up, just in case that uh, helps with the track laying. Let's take the other one out first, seeing as that's going to be closer to this road. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut across here and join it somewhere over there somehow. <laughs> I really haven't thought this out at all, but um, that's kind of what we're doing. If I delete that road, will I delete that building as well? I might get away with it. I'd, I'd just like to leave that one little building intact. Because I, I'm a caring, sharing kind of transport developer. There we go. I think that's that should work. Okay, so how are we going to get this? Out here, because we're going to have to cross the freight line as well, which is this uh, one here on the right, before we hit the passenger line. I don't think there's any gradients in there which are going to help us either. Unless we do it round there. Yes, because we're going to lose... I think we're going to lose the Plymouth to to, uh, to Churchill route as well. Yes. So to get from Churchill to Plymouth, you're going to have to travel to Coventry. Uh, yeah, I, th I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. We'll move these trains on so they get out of this section of the track anyway. Be a bit faster, chaps. There you go. That red light at the top is getting very insistent, isn't it? <laughs> is it still... T oh, we've passed the year. And... Oh, we've got some... Oh. That almost looks like a, a red London bus, doesn't it? Yutong. Uh, I think he's quite a... I, th I think that's the name of the modder. Oh, we've got so many... Oh, good grief. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, we'll see if any of those come to come to into our use. Ah, you see the steel mill is is picked up. It's the saw mill, which I, I've always been a, had a problem with. Right now, I'm thinking here because we've got an incline here, we can take the track, the passenger track, underneath 
the uh, the freight, or should we take the freight underneath the passenger? I think the freight should go underneath. Take all that out. Right, and we'll, we'll delete from here as well. Smooth it off a little bit. Okay. Right, so what we've got to do is we've got to get across from. Oh, it's an awfully long way away. Uh, where the heck? There we are. Uh, from here around there. Now that's, that's nice and easy. There's no problem with that at all. <laughs> okay, let's uh, go charging through here. A little bit of tunnel, that's okay. Um, oh, is that a new tunnel? No, I think it's a tunnel we've used before. In fact, I think we used that on the way up to Plymouth from uh, for the oil route, our first cargo route up that way. I think that's the same tunnel. So that's kind of in keeping, I suppose. We'll, we'll use that one then. So if we take you there. And actually, if we bring the other track in before we commit to going around that industrial site. There we go. And we'll use that track because, again, that one's closest to the obstruction. Yeah, you'll... If I made you flat there because we're going to be going up um, yeah if you look at the contour like if, if, if you're familiar with the game it's only been out for a few years <laughs> uh, you'll know if you've got the contours on wherever your mouse is this um, contour display tells you what the height is at that point so I'm at um, 173 there and up here I'm 178 going up to 185 so I think yeah if we start an incline here that should be fine And, yeah, I think so. We're going to get rid of that bit of road. It might be in the way. It's kind of redundant anyway. So how are you going to connect to that? Quite nicely. And, yeah, there's a bit of embankment building there, which is fine, because we're going to take our freight route, which we've disconnected, underneath. That should be okay. Actually, I think if we take this back a bit more and delete all that, okay. If we were, where's my track gone? Where's my track gone? There you are. I picked the right one, haven't I? Yes. Let me take you up here to there. Does look like yeah, that's 182, 187. It's still going up. Yeah, this line will need to go down a bit more. Okay, so let's let's take that. That is a very sweet and simple, almost straight line. It's about as straight as you can get on this curvy map. So let's complete this. Uh, there you go. Right. Um, oh, it's only a single track, is it? That freight route. Okay, and it's not electrified. Let's uh, take you out. Right. Can we take you? That looks happy to go down there. It needs to go down a little bit more. Okay. Not entirely. Ooh, right, that's 
better. Right, so that says it's on the flat, which is good. Too much slope, oh dear. Um, now let's get here. Hopefully that little extra distance there will allow us to come out. Yeah, that's splendid. And it maintains a nice speed all the way along, so that's that's good. So the freight shouldn't be uh, unduly concerned. There's not a bit of track left over there, is there? No, that's just a glitch in the landscape. Good, good. Right, we'll tidy this up at some point. At the end of the episode, I might well do it off camera like I often do. Okay, so what we're going to do then is change this line here and take Churchill out. Okay. I ask you to fix that. Oh, it still can't fix. Why can you not fix? Why can you not? So Newbury Coventry. Ah, no, that's that's fine. Then Plymouth Coventry Newbury. Why can you not? Uh, is there a break in the line somewhere? I wouldn't be too surprised to be honest. Oh, of course it's coming from this direction. I said I'd need to do this side as well, didn't I? And uh, naturally enough, I completely forgot. Okay, there's going to be some uh, destruction here, I think. And then we've got a bus route going along there, which is not handy. Um... No, well, we'll just have to uh, wipe out that bit of road, I'm afraid. And let the... Do I need to go back further? I think I will. And so, we're, yes. Terrain alignment. No, go away. Well, is that going to be a... An issue for putting that road back in. Could be. Maybe I, I probably just need to delete more of it. That's that's all he said, hopefully. Okay. Good. Right, that's you. Can we put that little bit of road back in? Uh, you're a four lane with bus lane. You're one of the slim large roads, aren't you? Which one are you? That one. Too much slope. Darn it. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, we can go that way. That should work for the bus, I think. Actually, no, let's wipe out some more stuff. Uh, that might have caused the problem. That was a bit of leftover road. Oh. <laughs> I've smoothed it, you're going to complain. No. Uh, okay. Oh, that looks ghastly. That does look horrid. Yeah, there is definitely an incline there, isn't there? Is that... Uh, there are tram tracks along there. I wonder if if we delete more of this. Right, this is a wing and a prayer kind of job, I think. Right, okay, so we've got that. That still looks nasty, but I'm going to try not to worry about it too much. Okay, so the route has been uh, adjusted. 
Can we put in big roads all round here? That's good. Okay, so we will reroute that uh, that line. So there's another little waypoint, a uh, little post box. And we'll have uh, one on one side of the road, one on the other side of the road. So, uh, where's that line going? Uh, oh, it does go in both directions, so from f three to four. Out of the way. Um, uh, we don't need graph uh, contours either at the moment, so we'll put you, and then you need to be uh, that one. Yep, that's cool. And then from 11 to 12, yep. We'll come that way. Okay. Right, it's not as neat as it once was, but um, it'll get the job done, I think. Ah, now, was there a tram line in here? Where's that? Where is that going? Oh, uh, yeah, right. I think we need to... Yeah, there's tram lines going down there, isn't there? Uh, so we want electric tram tracks to connect there. I think. And why is it not going along that way? Aha, it does if you put the right back, right bit of road in. Right, that's cool. So I think we've got the town services back into order. Which is fine. And this route here, can you fix it? Yes you can. Right. Um, we don't really don't really need any crossovers in here. That's fine. Uh, signals. Um, don't particularly need particularly need signals here, but we'll put them in as they're going in and out of the station. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yep. And put some here around the tunnel. Either end. And up here as well. And a little bit here. Yeah, that should do that. Should be sufficient, I think. Okay, so that route uh, we're going to rename because it doesn't go to Churchill anymore. Uh, there's no L on the end of Coventry. So I think we can take that off. Good. All right. Uh, actually, let's bring that line back up. What trains do we want on there? What have we got at the moment? We have got a truck at 99 miles an hour. I think we want a proper express on here, don't we? I think you're right. How many passengers, passengers do they carry? 130. Could probably do with more than that. So, what do we have here? 102? No. 95? No. 139? That's a little bit better. Oh, it's a Swiss, a Swiss train. Oh, that's, that's cool. Uh, that's only going at 88. The Swiss one goes 124, which is a nice fast speed. I do like these Renfrew ones, though. <laughs> uh, that's the Italian variant, isn't it? Uh, that was the Soviet one that we've used before, which I'm a little, I think I got, I put the wrong train on that line. That was the Plymouth to Kimbury line, which we built at the, uh, in the last episode. Uh, so I may have to re reassign those trains. 
Okay, let's uh, put those in. Okay, how, actually, how long are they? Uh, uh, 260, ooh, 206. That's a little bit long for the platforms, actually. Auto saving again. Oof, I've been running on a bit. This, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a long episode by the look of it, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Renfrew, it doesn't tell you their length here, does it? Uh, 118, 164. 224. No. We'll, we'll stick. Um, we'll stick with that Swiss one, I think. It's only a little bit over the, the length of the platform. Um, and we'll see if it causes any problems <laughs> when we get to it. Uh, right, okay. Where are all the trains, though? Uh, I think we ought to check where they all are. And how much trouble I'm going to have sorting them out. Okay. Uh, we have got five trains on there at the moment. So where's train one? Is in Coventry on entirely the wrong platform. I think, well, yes, yeah, let's create that, that new line actually. Uh, that. Uh, commuter line to uh, between Coventry and Churchill. This is the Coventry, oh my goodness, can't type and speak and spell at the same time. That's the three C's route, the Coventry to Churchill commuter, and you're going to go from Coventry all the way to Churchill and we'll give you a sexy colour, we'll give you um, a pale orange, a pale yellow. I might want to change that because it probably clashes with something else but for the time being we'll, we'll live with it. Okay, right so what we'll do is we'll put this train, which is currently stuck in Coventry, we'll put you on that new line. There you go. And we'll change these to a slightly more appropriate. And you're between Coventry and Churchill, so we'll put you on that line as well. So we'll, we will replace those shortly with um, a more appropriate vehicle. Uh, in the meantime, we will replace all of these with our sexy new Swiss hypertrain. There we go. Did that replace them? It did. Okay. That's excellent. Right, so what we're going to put in here on the, uh, on the commuter route Could be electric again, could be a little... Ah, we could use one of these little British ones, couldn't we? Oh yeah, uh, we had some new ones turn up, didn't we? Are they? Ah, there they are. 55, 75, 95... Should we use the latest one? I, I think we should. And they go a little bit fast at 100, um, which concerns me slightly. So I think I'll actually, no, I will use the, the older one, which goes 87. So which livery shall we use? So, Network Southeast or British Rail? Let's use British Rail. Okay, and we'll replace all of those. There you go. Right, so you're the Churchill X. Oh, you've did you changed now. Oh, I have been paused for a while, haven't I? So you should be coming into Exeter very soon. There you go. You do travel at a proper old lick, don't you? And I've already forgotten what I changed this train to, <laughs> what I'm replacing it with. So this should be quite exciting. 
I just love that big bridge over the over the town station for all the freight traffic. What are you going to change to? Come on, show me something sexy. Oh, oh it's a double decker, wasn't it? Well, that's super cool. Oh yeah, I like that. That's a good looking train. Okay. Ooh, silly, no silly noise though. <laughs> uh, oh, and you're about to change to the uh, to the new commuter train on the new uh, Coventry to Churchill. Oh, I remember those. Oh yes, we we'll probably still have several of them in use across various parts of the country. That's lovely. Excellent. And uh, you're another one of those. Why are you complaining? Train 13. What's. Oh, train 13. Where the heck are you? Where are you? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Um, we don't want you there. Um, no. <laughs> and you are indeed too big for the station. Well, let's send you to the depot then. Let's uh, get you sold. I'm able to find a path to the depot electric. Ow. Oh, bother. Right. Um, okay, now if we actually get... No, if I do a little bit of a quick fix on this bit of track... bit like that. Can we get you to Newbury? Yes. Oh, no one. So even the Falmouth sawmill has sorted itself out. That's lovely. Are you going to Coventry? Where, where are you going? Go to Newbury. Yeah, you are. You are indeed far too big for those stations. <laughs> it, you can, the the what will happen, of course, is that the uh, the train manager or the guard or whoever, yeah, depending on your national rail service system, will announce that passengers in the end carriages need to move to the next carriage along due to short platforms at the next station stop. I hear that quite a lot on. Quite a few of our routes, I'm afraid, uh, in the UK. Certainly around London, anyway, uh, and and the that southwest lines. Uh, right. So what are we doing here? Uh, oh, is that road vehicle, wasn't it? Uh, found, oh yes, I was planning on replacing you. You were one of the things I had in mind for this episode. Uh, so, oh, you're very much an old vehicle, aren't you? You are. Oh, you are indeed a successful line. So what are you doing, sir? Right, so you're coming out of there and sending food and stuff. I suppose you're all you're, you're all ah you're all pre preset to carry food. Uh, so what's the replacement for you then? Freight. We could use the Tesco van again, couldn't we? <laughs> uh, how fast do you guys go? You go fifty. Should we use Asda actually for this one? Yeah, different, different supermarket chain. Uh, and again, we will set you to food only. Good. And we will replace all of you. There he is. Oh. oh, why why are you not changing? Oh, you will shortly. Yeah, just missed <laughs> just missed your chance there. Right, I think it's probably about time to wrap this episode up by a long chalk. So what we've got, we have got a super fast new train doing an express route, Newbury Coventry to Plymouth. Yeah, look at that. That is a sleek number. Okay, 
this isn't really Switzerland. There are no Swiss towns or cities on this map, but um, we live in Europe. We're a modern European country. Well, for a few months more, at least. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's fine. We've introduced a new commuter route. Oh, you sure the fountain? Well, that's fine. We'll ignore you. So there we are. Yes, I think that's it. Uh, one final check, actually. Have we fixed the Plymouth? Ah, uh, yes. We're getting food delivered to Plymouth. It looks like we have fixed our little problem here with the Plymouth. Where, where is the train? Where is the train? Where is the train? <laughs> oh, there you are. Uh, are you making money? Look at, oh yes, that's much healthier. Yep, yeah, that's a much better balance. Uh, with any luck, Kimbry, are you, is Kimbry still? Yes, I think we're, 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 I think we sorted that out, which is good. So, yeah, when you're delivering goods by train into a city or a town, do make sure it can actually reach the points that want it. Uh, lesson learned there, I think. So that's it. Thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please feel free to leave a like. Just click that thumbs up button. That'd be much appreciated. But even better, if you've got any thoughts, suggestions, recommendations, criticisms even, it'd be great to hear from you. Just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. And of course, if you've not done so already, why not subscribe to the channel? And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. I don't like that bit around. But from me, Ajax Post, in Transport Fever, bye-bye for now.